you are preparing to write the jump exam and you came across this question how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the entropy change in the system above is so this is the system otherwise called a reaction okay this is a reaction now it must be noted here that a reaction is made up of two sides okay we have the product side of a reaction as well as the reactant side of the reaction the product side of a reaction is always seen in the right hand side whereby the reactant side of a reaction is seen in the left hand side so this is the right hand side of this reaction so this becomes the product side of this reaction so this is the product side of this reaction whereby for the reactant side it is this side so this is the reactant side of this reaction okay the reactant side of this reaction now after you note this the next thing you have to know because we are about solving this question so the next thing you must know is understanding what the term entropy means so what is entropy as a term in chemistry now entropy simply explains the degree of disorderliness in a system meaning that there is a state of matter that this process entropy favors because you heard me saying disorderliness in a system so which state of matter do you think this entropy as a process favors it is gas you know we have three important major states of matter which are solid liquid and gas because if you are asked what type of motion is seen in a gas particle you simply say random motion so this gas the type of motion they undergo is in a disorder manner now in solving this question there are some things you must note and that is what i'm about explaining now this must be noted if the product side this is the product side of a reaction and this is how it is for all types of reactions in chemistry the product side is always at the right hand side so if the product side of a reaction has more gas species meaning that you will be seeing gas here i, I believe you can see s s here signifies solid this is not a gas species so please take note if the product side of a reaction has more gaseous species than the reactant side of that same reaction we simply say the entropy change of that reaction is positive please note this positive it signifies as plus ve i'll repeat what i said if the product side of a reaction has more gas species than the reactant side will simply say that particular entropy change for that reaction specifically is positive but let's take another scenario if the reactant side now of a reaction has more gas species than the product side the reactant side now is now having more gas species than the product side will simply say the entropy change for that reaction is negative please note this this is very important it will help you solve this question i repeat if the reactant side of a reaction has more gas per se than the product side will simply say that the entropy change of that reaction is negative now lastly if the product side and the reactant side have equal number of gas species we simply say the entropy change of that reaction is zero i believe you are following if the product side and the reactant side of a particular reaction has the same numbers of gas per she we simply say the entropy change of that reaction is zero so let's check this reaction to know the sign that will be assigned to the entropy change if it is positive negative or zero let's check together now this is the product side and what state of matter can you see here solid this is the reactant side and what are the states of matter that exist here you can see the first one this is ammonia ammonia is nh3 ammonia is a gas 
Do you understand? So there is a gas pechi here, and also there is a solid pechi. Now let's compare. This is the reactant, this is the product. So which side have more gas per se? The reactant. And what did I say? If the reactant side of a reaction has more gas per se than the product side, what do we say the entropy change is? Negative. Do you understand? So what becomes the answer to this question? Option C. Very very easy not difficult so i'll be giving you all practice questions to solve and provide the answer in the comment section okay guys this is your practice question so do well to solve this question and provide the answer in the comment section it's very easy i've explained it and i believe you can actually get the answer to the question thanks for watching